Good morning, Year 4, and welcome to your English lesson of the 9th of February 2021. So following on from yesterday's lesson, today you are going to organise all of your points for and against in a box it up plan so that it's easy for you to follow the structure tomorrow when you start writing. So as a starter, you were given these spellings yesterday. What I would like you to do is use a dictionary or your computer to research the definitions of these words, so what they mean, and then include them in a sentence. I would like all of you to choose at least three to include in a sentence. And you also need to continue practicing them ready for the mixed spelling test on Friday. If you need to continue having these spellings on the screen, please press pause on the video now because I am going to move on to the next activity. OK, so today we're going to box up our balanced argument to give us a structure for our writing. So we're going to be following the same structure as the PETS model text. So I want you to just recap that text now because we haven't read it for a couple of days and take note of what is happening in each of the paragraphs. So press pause when you need to because I'm going to move through the slides quite quickly. OK, so the structure of the balanced argument here is the introduction and that introduces what the argument is going to be about. We've then got a paragraph giving points for, another paragraph giving points for, then we go for our against paragraph and then another against paragraph. But as you can see in the paragraphs, a lot of the language, such as in addition and furthermore, are used within each paragraph to give extra points and build on points given in the same paragraph, just to give as much information as possible about the reasons for and against, so that when you reach your concluding paragraph at the end, you are more confident when making your own opinion clear and you've got lots of points to use as a backup. So your box it up plan is on Teams. I have filled in the mod middle column to give you some idea of the language that you can magpie, but I haven't actually modelled the box it up plan for you because I did not want you to copy my box it up plan. But all you've got to do is use your points for for and against that you collected yesterday and just sort them into the correct box. So you need to choose, for example, two points for in one paragraph and then two points for in the next paragraph and then two points against and then two points against. So it's just organising all of the work you did yesterday into the structure of your balanced argument. So when you come to write it tomorrow, you can literally just follow the structure of the plan. In tomorrow's lesson, I have actually modelled the writing process, but I really want you to try and not copy what I've written. So you need to make sure that you do today's lesson and think of your own points for and against so that it's not a complete copy of what I've done. So here I've just copied and pasted the language that you learnt last week, just to remind you. So we've got however, although, on the other hand, on the contrary and in contrast, along with conversely. And these are ways to introduce an opposite point of view. So, for example, when you're moving from the for to the against paragraph, you've got firstly and finally, amongst other time conjunctions to move the argument on. Furthermore, also, and in addition to this, now this is going to be used within the same paragraph. So if you're focusing on your first four paragraph, you might use one of these words halfway through to introduce another point that backs up your argument to include more than one point in the same paragraph. You've then got research suggests, studies show, it is well known that statistics show that and it is common knowledge that. And these are lang these are this is the language used to introduce facts and statistics, and this builds a little bit more trust in your argument. You've then got consequently, therefore, for the rec sorry, for this reason, and you might also use because, and this explains a point further, just to add a little bit more explanation to what you are saying. Now, I have put these on the box it up plan on Teams, so don't worry about having to go back and forth from the video and from Teams. OK, so that is your work. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and stop sharing the screen and I'm just going to pop on to the balanced argument box it up plan so that you can actually have a little look and I can just talk you through what the box it up plan looks like. So let me try and stop sharing this screen and share a new one. OK, so hopefully you can see the box it up plan now. As you can see, I've copied and pasted the language 
to the top so that you can use it constantly throughout. I've then broken up the boxy up plan into the different sections of the argument. Okay, I'm just going to delete my ideas. I'll keep the introductory paragraph there. I just don't want you copying my ideas. Okay, so we've got the title, which is a rhetorical question, introductory paragraph, point four, point four, point against, point against, and then your concluding paragraph. So as you can see in the middle column, I've taken some ideas from the model text. So we've got should humans own pets? And then we've got all of the language that you might want to use in your own argument. So there is an ongoing debate about, is this right? This argument will discuss. Firstly, without doubt, and furthermore, in addition, as well as this, on the contrary, and building on that, in addition and consequently, and then in summary and in conclusion. The only language that I haven't really included in the box it up plan is the green language here, but that's really easy for you to have a go at building that in yourself. And then if you look at the final column, we've got your own ideas. So here I've changed the rhetorical question and my title is going to be, is it right for animals to be kept in zoos? Sorry. We've then got the introductory paragraph. I'm just making notes. So for example, I've put zoos, they're common around the world and very popular. Are zoos right? This argument will discuss both points for and against. And all you need to do is take some points for and points against and pop them into the correct box, just so you have a clear focus of what points you are going to talk about in each paragraph. Hopefully that makes sense. Please submit it on Teams. Please, can you try not to submit blank documents because, um, on some days I've just been getting this exact worksheet back, for example, with no work in it. So please try and edit the document and then resubmit it properly when you've completed it. So hopefully that makes sense. Really looking forward to seeing what you've got planned. I look forward to you writing it again later in the week.